This video is to demonstrate how to download and install Lexmark's most reliable and most compatible print driver for your PC. Some of this video contains footage that is sped up, so feel free to pause at any time to take notes or to catch up. The drivers we are working with today were created to be universally compatible with almost every Lexmark printer manufactured. Lexmark has also created one package that works with both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows, ranging from the latest version of Windows all the way back to Windows 7, including all versions of Windows Server. So today, we would like to show you how to install it on your computer. There are a couple of prerequisites before we get started. Number one, your computer needs to be on the same network as your network printer, or the two will not connect to one another. If you are unsure about this, just continue on to the next steps. If it doesn't work out, then simply contact your IT department to troubleshoot your connectivity. If you do not have an IT department, please give us a call to explore what the next options are. Number two, you will need to know what your printer's IP address is. To find it, walk over to the printer and look at its screen. The IP address is usually located at the top in the center. And on some earlier models, you may see it shown to the top left as seen here. It will look something like this. Now that you have your printer's IP address, head back over to your computer, open your favorite web browser, navigate to datamaxarkansas.com, click on the support button at the top right, scroll down about halfway, and look to the left. Click on Download a Print Driver. Select Lexmark Drivers. We won't be covering this entire page, but if you have time to read it or if you enjoy this kind of topic, this page tells all about the universal drivers, their benefits and compatibility. Let's download the driver. Scroll down just a little bit and look to the right. You'll see a section called Individual Driver Packages for Windows. You can use any of these three drivers for your machine and have excellent results. Hover over Download PCLXL and select Save As. This will give you the option to choose where your driver will download. I downloaded mine to a folder on my desktop, but if you're using your default browser settings, it's probably going to go to your download folder. Double click on it to run the file. At this point, if you're getting restricted and an administrator password is needed, please stop and contact your IT department for permission. You won't be able to continue without them entering in their username and password. Click the options to continue, read the Lexmark license agreement, scroll to the bottom, and if you accept, click accept. Make sure that the launch the add printer wizard after extraction completes is checkmarked. Click start. If you get a notice that says the destination already exists, simply click overwrite and continue. Select add a printer using TCP IP address, click next. Change the device type to TCP IP device. Type in your printer's IP address. Click Next. Click Next again. It is not required to change this, but we do recommend naming your printer based off of where it is located. Click Next. If your computer is not a server, please make sure Do Not Share This Printer is selected. Click Next. Click Finished. You're all done. You're ready to use your printer. However, we do have some recommendations. Let's set some everyday defaults that you're going to be using most. Click on the Windows Start button. Navigate to your Control Panel. Go to Devices and Printers. Right click on your print driver, choose Printer Properties, select the Advanced tab at the top, select Printing Defaults. You are now on the Layout tab. Click the drop down for Print on Both Sides and choose Print on One Sided Only if you prefer that. If you have a color printer and you would like to make monochrome or black and white as some people call it, if you would like to make that your default to avoid accidental color printing, we do recommend that you select the quality tab and then place a check mark on print in black and white. Then click OK. Click OK again. Print a test page if you like. 
You can also set this printer as your new default from here as well. Just right click on your printer and choose set as default printer. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope it was helpful as well. If you have any questions, just please contact the number on the tag, which is the sticker on the front of your machine. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.